Hey everybody, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the ladder, Football Manager 20. This is uh, our second club, Eastbourne Borough, episode 13 to start our new season. So uh, we're going to probably only play one match today, but we have a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Uh, here you see our friendlies. We had a 3-1 loss to Ebsfleet. Uh, Simon Fenwick scored. And uh, some of these names you may not recognize. Then we had a 3-0 win over Folkestone, Jacob Baker, Martin Atkins, and Terry Hammond with goals. A 6-1 drilling of Seven Oaks. Uh, Shane Kidd with an early goal. Fenwick with a hat trick. Toby Mongoy, the winger, put, put a penalty in the net. And Kieran Holiday with a 51st-minute goal. And then a 3-0 clean sheet over Canvey Island. Atkins, Liam Rolls, and Ben Eccles put the ball in the back of the net for us. So let's go through our transfers first of all. Well, you know what? No, let's not do that. Let's take a quick look. So we're still in the Vonorama National League last season. If you did not see it, please go back and check out last episode. Uh, the last five minutes were probably the most intense five minutes of football manager I have played in my life. Uh, that's all I'll tell you. Go check it out. Crazy. All right, so we're supposed to avoid relegation this year. And we are, we're actually picked mid-table, 14th in the table, 9 and nine to 1 odds. Uh, so we should be okay, knock on wood. Uh, well, it's not quite mid-table, but uh, right, right off the pace. Uh, so we should be okay there. Uh, so transfers. I went in and did a couple of things. So let's take a quick look. Staff, first and foremost, our coaching team. Uh, we retained our assistant coach, Charlie Cole. Actually, no, I got rid of my assistant manager and we brought it in Charlie Cole. Did I? I got rid of somebody. 50? No, okay. I retained Charlie. Charlie's back. Uh, I brought in Adrian Hayes as a coach. Uh, adaptability, uh, judging ability. Uh, where's works with youngsters motivating all right anyway uh, brought in a goalkeeper coach uh, so we're actually doing pretty good and here is uh, our fitness is top of the league uh, and we're well above average in everything else attacking just a little bit and technical just a little bit but one of the best coaching staffs in the league uh, so that is good. Very good at fitness and management and defense. So that's where we're going there. Uh, recruitment team, uh, best in a lot of positions, judging potential and ability. Uh, that is where I went after. Uh, Luke Roberts, I, I let my other general manager go. I took over all the hiring uh, and then I've reassigned a bunch of stuff out, but I wanted to get a staff in place. So Luke Roberts is our new general manager. Uh, Eddie Easter, we brought in a scout. So he's uh, 11 and 10 in judging potential and ability. Uh, we did bring in two additional scouts, Brett Halford and Zach Gale Bogle. Uh, they're all making 1000 a month. Probably a little overkill. I may end up having to get rid of one of these guys, but it is what it is. Uh, and then medical staff, I brought in a uh, head physio in Georgia Woolley and uh, Will Scarisbrick. So uh, physio, we're above average, but not top of the league. And I don't even know what that is. What is that? Sports science. I guess that's knowing about people. Uh, so that's one of the higher ones. So that was the first thing. So we've actually started doing some scouting. I don't know what my director of football did last year, but we've gotten rid of him. We brought in somebody else. Um, I am doing a lot of the signings and stuff. And then a lot, and I, I didn't want these guys hired. I didn't see the need for it right now. So that's why I left that on me. And then now I'm going to let the president hire and fire the general manager. General manager is going to deal with everything else. Uh, so that's what I'm doing there. And in the transfer market, a couple of our players have some bids in. We've had some other guys uh, receive bids this year. They have uh, 
they've rejected it, so not too worried about it. Uh, but here we go. This is uh, where we are at. So lot, a lot of moves. So bear with me. You can see the list. All right, Simon Fenwick. We got him on a free. He comes in from, uh, we got him late last year, but he didn't actually join until this year. Uh, never played a match for us, so he'll make his debut this year. Comes to us from Aldershot Town, uh, where he had uh, two goals in 13 matches. Uh, 10 and 35 in the National League North for Warrington on a loan spell a couple of years ago. Uh, but League One, League Two, not quite to that par. So we've picked him up. Uh, I do, well, uh, I thought he was wearing glasses like D.B. Cooper for a minute. He's got a little bit of pace and acceleration. So, you know, his physicals are, you know, kind of borderline. Uh, he is 6'2", jumping reach. He can head the ball. Uh, he's got a decent touch, solid finishing, and dribbling. So I'm looking for him to really make a impact this year. Four goals in two starts uh, here in the early going for us. So a uh, very good start for him. Kieran Holiday comes on a free from Crystal Palace. Uh, that's interesting. Again, late last year we, we got him, uh, but this he hasn't played for us. Uh, never made, you know, never really made an appearance for Palace. A uh, bunch of non-competitive uh, for their youth sides. So, uh, you know, not sure what he'll come to. Uh, he's going to be, we, we've got a new tactic that does play with wingers, uh, but he can play that left mid and central mid if needed. Physicals are pretty, you know, pretty average, but at this level, that's not horrible. Uh, very brave, aggressive determination. So he's got some middles in the right places. Passing is is really good, really helps out. That was something I looked to really beef up this year. Um, and crossing dribbling is a seven. First touch, not quite as good, but you know, at least he can you know dribble without falling over himself and put crosses into the box. So that'll help us out there a little bit. Then we've got uh, Spencer Webb joined us on a free, uh, 27 years old, comes to us from uh, Maidstone United, uh, where he had uh, four starts and four reserve appearances last year. And, uh, God, I keep hitting the wrong freaking button. Um, so he's a central mid, defensive mid, and center half. Uh, so he's got yeah, a little slow on the physicals, but, you know, he's, he's all right. Uh, very good mentally. Uh, marking is very solid. Tackling, and you can see he's playing a 6-7 in two starts uh, here in the early going in the friendlies. Uh, free kick taking, but again, uh, marking and tackling is what drew me to him. Can't really head the ball, so I don't really like him back at center half, but I think he could be a decent anchor man or volante, which is what one of the positions that we're going to be playing calls for so look for him to play a role there after Webb we uh, signed Ben Eccles he also came on a free joins us from from town now he did I don't know why this is listed twice I have no idea twice in the same year no clue uh one start, three reserve appearances. He does have a goal playing an 8-4 in the friendlies. Uh, but I think he's going to be a, a central mid. He can play right wing if we need him to, and also that defensive mid. Physicals are pretty good. Uh, Decision-making, determination. His passing is solid for us at a 9. First touch is a 15. Uh, dribbling is an eight. So I kind of like him as a playmaker back here in the defensive mid, but uh, still trying to get a feel for all the new guys where they're going to fit at. Uh, Harry Newton joins us. He's 21 years old, uh, central mid and a right winger. Uh, I don't play with a number 10 uh, up there. So uh, again, pretty good physicals, uh, determination, teamwork, work rate, passing, 13. Love it. Free kick taking, first touch, uh, dribbling, all good. And we have a guy that can actually take corners. 
So looking for some stuff from him this year. Not sure if he'll start or be depth, but we'll see. Uh, I really kind of need to get, probably weed a few of these guys out too, because I've got a shit ton of midfielders. <laughs> uh, Liam Rolls, he comes to us on a free. Uh, he comes to us from, did, well, did count on a loan, but from Petersboro. Uh, I guess he was on a non-contract. Uh, damn it, I did it again. Solid physicals. Again, he can move up front to play striker. He can't finish, so I don't like him there. We could, he can cross and he could do a lot of stuff. We could train him on either wing, uh, inside forward, uh, inside winger on the left side, a true winger on the right side. He's right only. But uh, passing is a 10. Again, I looked at passing on a lot of guys. Free kick taking, first touch, dribblings and eight, crossing and corners. So again, well-rounded, one goal, one assist, playing a 7-8 uh, in the four friendlies to start the season here. Uh, Malcolm Osmond comes to us from Portsmouth on a free. Three starts, playing a 6-8. Uh, defensive mid, central mid, right winger. Again, you know, some of these positions I just didn't have anybody, and a lot of positions I didn't have depth, and I wanted to bring in players that just could challenge, you know. Very good physically, probably one of the most physical guys on the team. 18 determination, 11 vision, 8 passing. So, I mean, he's at least solid. First touch is 12, dribbling. He can even finish a little bit. So, looking forward to seeing what he can do. Uh, then Mark Cavanaugh, we got him on a free. He is a right back uh, and center back. Now, his heading's good. He can jump. He's got a 7, so 6'6", 194 pounds. Isn't the fastest guy, but I think he's probably a pretty good center back. Uh, you know, with his height, his, he can head the ball a good bit, marking, passing, tackling. The passing ability actually gives us the ability to distribute through him in the middle. And you can see on our current team, he's 5-star potential, 4-star current rating i haven't settled on a starting 11 yet i'm still playing around with people and that's going to take a little bit of the season uh ian baker he is a left winger left attacking winger can drift into the middle and striker but you know he's got a lot of positions not very fast uh but he has really good first touch heading ability passing is all right solid technique decision determination uh, so, you know, and he can cross and dribble. So I see him playing off on the left side, 34 years old. I really see him as depth. Uh, boy, that's a, that's an ugly face. Gotta say, uh, <laughs> Daniel Steve. Oh no, this is uh, not, not Stevenson, my striker. This is Stevenson, a goalkeeper. Um, my bad. Wow. All right. Yeah. I saw Stevenson and I was thinking my striker, he's a keeper. Um, I took a flyer on him. He was 18. Um, our, our, our starting keeper Hurst from last year. I mean, he gave up 94 goals. Uh, just, you know, so I wanted some, some, just some depth to try to get some challenge, you know, some, some competition going and, you know, maybe a young, you know, this is a young keeper. He's on a non-contract. Uh, he's got good handling, kicking one-on-ones. Uh, and he and reflexes are all very good. So not sure where he's going to fit in, but uh, I said, yeah, we'll take a flyer on him. Uh, we got Brandon Green coming in on a loan, another keeper. Again, good handling, one-on-ones, uh, rushing out. So good for a sweeper keeper. Decent reflexes. Uh, so again, uh, didn't have to promise him starting time. Uh, they didn't ask for that. And then Chris Manning was our big signing of the year. Uh, we paid, uh, what was that, $6,500 from Havant and Waterlooville. Uh, so reflexes, rushing out, one-on-ones, uh, handling. So a lot of that I like. I don't care about eccentricity. So I could see this guy, he's only 17. I could see him challenging for our number one jersey. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So that's our new guys. So let's get into the tactic and we can figure out what we're going to do. So I've, I've gone in and I've repurposed. I got rid of the 3-5-2 that we used last season. This is an older tactic that I've used in the past. 
uh, basically a 4-4-2 with a more defensive presence in the midfield. I've played this in two of the four friendlies, uh, and we won both of them. So I like the. It seems the two up top is really is kind of the way to go in FM20. Uh, FM17 was the three the the three up top. 19 was the one up top with wingers and crossing. So I'm feeling so far. Let me know what you think, but I'm thinking uh, the two up top is the way to go. Uh, so I brought that back. This is another one. This is kind of an asymmetric. Uh, you know, it's kind of got a similar format to this. Uh, just moving a midfielder more up into the central mid and playing with a deep, deep player here. Um, let's see. I do want to check a few of these things uh, while I'm in here. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I can do that. And then uh, this is the third tactic. Uh, again, this is one that I used uh, late in FM19, and I think I used it in my Real Madrid save. So a little more of a more of a uh, defensive midfielder, uh, very similar to the tactic that Leeds plays currently. And double check that. We want to get rid of the offsides trap. Tighter marking. Well, actually, you know what? We'll leave that off. Yeah. All right. So just double checking all those. So let's go ahead and get into the match preview. We are favored over Dorking. Uh, it's 62 and calm, 477 tickets. We did set attendance records um, for the club again as they had moved up. So. You know, we'll 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 check all that out. Uh, so what do we want to play? We are favored today, so I think I think I want to go with this tactic today. And eh, maybe not. Let's let's just kind of look around here. So this has a little bit of issue right here, but that's because of the deep lying playmaker. You know, and a lot of times you'll have a hole. It's it's you can't really fix everything right uh i'm not too worried about up top the false nines always seem to work themselves out um this one has been pretty good so i want to give this a run now let's kind of go through and take a look here so hurst and turnbull those are our two guys so hurst is still kind of being lean to all right, Spice on the left side, Jones. Let's go with Jones there. Kavanaugh. Is Kavanaugh the 6'6 guy? Yes, he is. So I think I do want him in the center. Neville Moss, 7'9". He can't head the... Uh, this, oh, this is for the right side. That's right. Um... You know what? Can he play out there? He's got decent. He can't cross. Nah, not really. Um, boy, that's gonna put a. That's gonna be pretty slim over there. I gotta go check that. So hopefully I'll edit this out. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go here. And let's uncheck everybody. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little more thought into this. Actually, let's judge by ability. All right, Kavanaugh, I want at I want him at center half. Now he's right only, so we want him at defensive center right. Okay. And then Osman. He's got pace. He's got first touch. He can pass the ball pretty good. Um, do I have anybody else? Davies? Davies cannot pass, so I do not want him in that defensive mid. And Ben Eccles, first touch is really good. I think... 
I want Osman at my defensive mid. Um, can he play anchor? Let's check that out. Uh, so Osman, anchor, Volante. Kind of need to come back here, don't I? Osman. And who is the other guy? I don't want Davies back there. Osman and Eccles. Hmm. And then if we go here, Shane Kidd. Tackling, heading. He plays that anchor really well. So let's put Kid over here. And we'll put Osman there. And then who do I want at my other center back? Davies cannot Davies cannot head the ball great, but he is 6'5, but he doesn't have much pace. He doesn't have any pace. And can't see anything there. Who am I looking at? Spice. 5'11". I mean, he's not horrible. 6'6", 8". 12", 12", I kind of like that. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with Jack Holmes there. All right. And then... Keeper. I'm really tempted to just reflexes one-on-ones and I'm sorry if I'm spending too much time this is really the first year you know first game for and the first year I'm really looking at this really hard especially on the heels of last year so feel forward to skip over to the game if you want to do that uh, but I, I I really feel I need to go through this so one-on-ones is a six a five a six and I don't know, man. I, I first touch. I mean, communication is not horrible. You know what? I'm gonna start him. And I'll put Hurst, I'll put Hurst on the bench just in case I want to go in a different direction. Alright. Um Atkins has pace, finishing, dribbling. First touch is okay. He can play on the left side. So we'll put him there. And then I really want to look and see who's got the best finishing. He's got pace and 10 finishing. I think it's going to be Fenwick. I think it's going to be Fenwick. Um, yep, we'll do that. And then we'll put um, Hume. I don't want you there. There you are, right there. We'll put Hume on the bench. And then I want. Well, let's let's see here. All right, let me go back over here now. All right, so we're starting to come together here a little bit. All right, I would like. I'm gonna put you. Uh, you can play. You can play defense on the right side. Dribbling, marking, teamwork. 10, 12. It's that lack of pace that really bothers me there. I'll put I'll put him in as a bat as a back line sub. All right, Kieran Holiday. All right, we're gonna put him. All right. Oh, okay. I can I can see that up here. Mid left. All right. Uh, we'll put him at mid left. Can he play? Yeah, he could play attacking mid left. Uh, we will put Spice at. You know, right? You know what? I am. I'm going to put him there. I'm going to put Spice on the left side. So we're going to move Moss from midfield back to right defender. See how that works out. Uh, Eccles can play the attacking mid-right. And then we'll put 
defensive right left. We'll put you on the bench. And McGowan can play striker. He's actually got decent finishing, too. I like him. Um, so, yeah, I want to give... Get off of there. Come on. Where's he at? McGowan. We're going to put you on the bench there. Awesome. Submit the team. Please. Yep. They need fitness. That's fine. Sorry it took so long, guys, if you're just joining us here and skipped all that. Really trying to, you know, get the players that I want. All right. Encourage the team. You got what it takes. And kickoff. Not many people responded. All right. Come on, boys. All right. Dorking gets the first shot. We are in the red. Oh, no. He beats him in. And he drills it. First goal of the season, 10 minutes in. That was a shot from the edge of the box. Not sure. Well, that was a... Who was this? That was Kavanaugh. And our boy, well, you know, top bin, far post. That was a pretty good finish. Keeper might have been out of position. Remember, we did start our young keeper, so I'm a little, little concerned now. Well, Bond aims that in, and it just disappears into the ether. Get creative. All right, they're inspired. All right, set piece. Kavanaugh plays it up. Oh, Moxie. He turned the corner on Spice pretty easy, didn't he? Oof. Oh, what a save. Another save. All right. That's showing a little something from the youngster. Push out. Come on, boys. There you go. All right, a good clearance. All right, we're not generating much in the way of shots. Two minutes. All right, so we've got four shots. Um, all right, tactically, if we move... If we move to there... So, no, you know what? Let's do that. Now, Eccles... Eccles is more of an attacking mid on the right side. He can play mid-center. Can Osman move out? He can move... Mm, kid? Not really. All right, playmaker. Passing? No. I think I want Osman there. Because Osman's the better passer. Kid can't finish, but that's okay. I think we're all right there. And mid right. Let's bring Hume in. All right. Kavanaugh and Holmes. All right. Just, you know, got to try a couple of tactics out here in the early going. See, what, see what's what. Oh. Blocked away. All right, knocked away by Holmes. Good job. That was bad. A oh, nice ball right into the center of the box. Whew, poor finish. Poor finish. Demand more. Focused. Church or night. Night. 
bumped out to the left side. All right, cleared away, right to their team. Oh, oh my God, what the hell was that? Russell Chaplin, first goal of the season. Gee whiz. All right, Moss with the mistake. Oh, man. Nice finish from long range. Gee whiz. I thought they had nerfed that, huh? All right. Do I want to make another sub? I mean, the keeper's not playing horrible. Osmond's. Let's bring Davies on for him. Crossed in, blocked away. Oof. Up into the empty stand. Somebody will have to chase that ball. All right, Hume makes a nice touch. Knocked away. Atkins cannot get there. Oh, how the hell did he kick the ball straight behind him? All right, at least that was not in the penalty box, but he is sent off. Mark Cavanaugh in his debut at that. Davies, I believe, can play back here. Uh, kid, we will drop to here. And you know what? I'm going to drop you here. Uh, we're going to make you an advanced forward on attack. And we will make you a shadow striker on attack. Show some passion. All right, lumped over. Atkins makes the run. And he puts it. Uh, he was, there was no way he was off sides, huh? No. All right, guys, tell me in the comments, was he offsides? I don't think so. Hume is injured. Shit. Foot injury. Uh, I've made all three subs. Nothing. Oh, wait. Have I made all three subs? Um, no, I have not. You know what? I'm going to put you there. I'm going to leave you up top. All right. Chested down by Atkins. Good job. McGowan controls it. Plays it in. Atkins is there. All right. Some decent balls, at least. We've really been manhandled here. Uh, I'd be hard-pressed to believe that we were the favorites in this one. All right, Fenwick drops it back to McGowan. Nobody there. Come on, boys. Do something. Well, they're time-wasting now. Oh, what a ball in. Oh, crap. We're not playing a uh Yeah, we're we're not we're not playing an offsides trap or anything here, guys. Feel free to go get the ball. <laughs> I mean, feel free. Well, straight to a kickoff highlight. That could be good or bad. All right, Atkins. Uh, well, it was a shot. We're playing two men down. No, one man down. You know, I was thinking we would have a little more. Oh, look out, look out. Fenwick. Ugh, come on. And it looked dangerous. 3 nothing. 
All right. Not happy with that. Defense definitely needs some work. Ugh. Um, yeah. Aggressive. I'm not happy with the result. All right, guys. Well, hit the like button, even if you didn't like the result. Maybe you liked the video. Maybe I still came across as, as good, professional. How long is Hume out for? Oh, my God. Well, we've got, we've got some strikers. Let's see. Team report, depth chart. Why can I not uh, click on this? Why would that be? You used to be able to click on that. So Hume is actually pretty far down the depth chart here. Hmm. Yeah. Um even on the side over here, he's he's pretty far down. So yeah, we'll uh oh you know what? Hold on. I want to change this. Head of youth development. He's the better guy. So no Hume's actually my number three striker. Hammond's not bad. Atkins, Atkins is right there with him. They're, they're all right in that group. He is my number two uh, right winger. Urgh. Well, that's gonna that's gonna cause some problems. All right. Well, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play a handful of games. Uh, let's come back. Uh, I'm gonna say let's let's wait till uh, the beginning of September here. Uh, that way I can get, you know, we'll put about seven games under our belt. Uh, we'll have a little bit better feel for how we look, who my starting 11 are going to be. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more of these colors in the league, unlike last year. Guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one.